Technology advances in warfare are an often understated triumph. With oblivious hindsight, we often look back in history and take for granted those advancements born of necessity in the heat and grind of war. Technological advances that made the difference between winning and losing. One such advance was the Sperry A-5 autopilot. Both the U.S. Army Air Corps and the U.S. Navy were exploring the use of autopilots in military aircraft prior to and throughout World War II. The necessity for maintaining straight and level flight arose with the development of new high-altitude level bombing techniques, wherein slight flight deviations could cause critical target misses. When the Boeing B-17 Flying Fortress entered service in the late 1930s, it was fitted with the Sperry A-3 autopilot, a basic system that only adjusted for angular deviations to keep the aircraft on a straight and level path. However, this autopilot used pneumatic hydraulic servos, which were slow to respond, leading to overcompensation and subsequent navigation and control challenges in adverse weather or turbulent conditions. The Sperry A-5 autopilot represented a significant advancement in aircraft control technology during World War II. The A-5 was the first all-electric autopilot. This change allowed for quicker and more precise control adjustments. It employed three dual-element vacuum tube amplifiers, each dedicated to controlling one axis of the aircraft's movement, yaw, pitch and roll. This setup improved the sensitivity and responsiveness of the system. Its high-speed gyroscopes were crucial for establishing a reference level for the aircraft's flight path. They detected deviations in the aircraft's attitude with greater accuracy than previous systems, allowing for more responsive corrections, utilizing independent electro-hydraulic servos for each control surface, meant that corrections could be communicated swiftly to the aircraft's control mechanisms, enhancing maneuverability and stability. Further, the A-5 was specifically designed to work in tandem with bomb sites like the Norden and Sperry systems. Once the bombardier set the target using the bomb site, the A-5 could maintain a steady level flight path to the target, enabling the bomb site to calculate the exact moment for bomb release with high accuracy. Providing faster stabilization, the A-5 addressed the shortcomings of earlier systems, particularly in poor weather or turbulent conditions, where maintaining course was critical. The Sperry A-5's technology was a leap forward in autopilot capabilities, offering pilots the ability to fly more accurately and efficiently, which was vital for the strategic bombing campaigns of World War II. Its design not only improved the effectiveness of bombing missions, but also laid groundwork for future developments in aviation control systems.